I'm going to show you something authentic to dine for dinner. And this is a uh, food that uh, intro by the local. Some food like this. I want this one. And yeah. So you can choose the size that uh, for yeah this one. And then uh, this one small small also. <laughs> okay yeah it's good. And then you get the weight and then you know the price and. Uh, that, the yeah, blast. the blast. Yeah. Okay, so it's a trial ringgit yeah, yeah. for that. Yeah. When I visit Miri, I keep see this beer, Sagota. I'm not sure where it's from. It seems like a Vietnamese beer, if I'm not wrong, because I see Vietnamese wording. Yeah, come, let's give it a try. I think uh, this is gonna be paired out with the uh, local food very well. Mm very light very refreshing forgot to show you that this is actually right at the roadside beside a laundromat and then uh, you can just take any seat let them know that how many person that you got in uh, to come for dinner uh, i'm not sure how many options usually they have but tonight i have this uh roasted three layer pork and uh pork stomach <laughs> or we call it the uh, Chang. Okay, let me try the chili sauce first. Oh wow, the chili sauce is like pungent, very spicy. Okay, let me try without the sauce first. Oh my god, this is super good. Wow. It's gonna pair with the beer very, very well. Mm, my goodness. One piece is not enough. Mm. Let me try the intensity. Oh my god, they marinate the the pork so 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 good. Mm. The, the intensity is like a little bit porky, but it's on the acceptable level. Um maybe I eat together with the chili sauce to be better. I'm okay with that, but for those don't like food with a little bit porky, it might be a problem for you. But um just the roasted pork itself. You can choose um, any piece that you like. I chose a slightly darker one. And then they heat up again. Make it uh, hotter and more crispier. Mm. And the weather here is like very cooling. So, um, I'm not sure how, what they're going to do with that when rain. But it will create for something um, flavorful with the diet traditional food come over here if you are going there to take photo of the sunset you got to be careful the high tide and low tide hour because that you might trap over there unable to come back and i see a uh, two person i think they are going to put the crab trap uh to catch the crab oh yeah can you see that the square boxes so let me go nearer and show you before we enjoy the food over there. This is the trap to catch the crab for sure. And then they have to bring this cage near to the rock. <laughs> it's very lucky to see this. I'm not sure what is this. And I can see that all these little sand ball are made by the crab. But those are the little crab. And you see the two gentlemen there? They are setting up the trap now. So one of the guys is going to help. You can check out how they are going to catch the fish or crab. It's actually, uh, there's a very generous guy that tell me that they catch anything. So as long as the fish will go into the, the trap, and then they'll trap inside there, and then they will not able to come up. So actually, there are some kids playing water right there. A little bit dangerous, but I think they are used to it. So when you are coming over here, uh, just relax and you can chat with uh, some people. They are very friendly over here. I'm going to show you a place it's called Tanjong Lobang. It is very, very busy day. Uh, busy place. <laughs> and uh, if you come over by Sunday or Saturday, this place is full of car people. Very crowded. So uh, you can come over here on weekday, so it will be less crowded. But uh, the food option will be slightly lesser. Um, there are many hala food and uh, I'm going to show you the Chinese food for today. I was uh, talking to some of uh, a stranger 
on the seaside and the person introduced me to try to dine right over here it's called Ming Chai Seafood so one of the dish is quite popular I'm going to try right over here this is the restaurant that uh, the one of the stranger asked me to come and try so it's a uh, prawn fat with steam with the garlic this one or grilled with garlic and I'm going to try the pumpkin milkshake this is the pumpkin milkshake let me give you a try Mm. I can taste that they use a fresh, I can also hear and saw them use a fresh pumpkin to blend in into a drink. Mm. It's quite unique to me, quite uh, creamy and milky. It's acceptable to try the pumpkin milkshake as well. This is the grilled garlic palm fat and then it looks quite unique to me because that when they uh, grill it, they slide into half. So both, of, both sides of the skin of the fish are grilled evenly. And let's see inside. Oh, <laughs> even those that this side is also grilled nicely. Okay, I'm not going to show you like that, right? I will just eat it and then tell you whether it's nice or not. Mmm, wow, it is very fresh. It's very garlicky. Um, for those that you love garlic, you will come over here. For you that uh, you're like the friend of Dracula. You don't like garlic and then you should not come over here but come give me a try for other dish that are fried prepared in other way but i really really like this one i think this is very different from uh, any other chinese restaurant i've never tried before the fish actually tastes a little bit sweet and then a little bit salty um, but it's not way too over salty and now they gave me a uh, sambal i'm going to try whether the sambal tastes good with the palm fat fish Mm, it's a little bit uh, with vinegar. I think it mixed with just uh, chili, water and vinegar. Now, hopefully the vinegar sambal will make the freshness of the fish a different level. Mm. Wow. Totally different experience. I love this very much. I think that uh, this is something that you should come to try at your first night in Miri. I had a very good dinner here. E three items, uh, pumpkin milkshake, grilled eggplant, and the uh, garlic palm fat is only 44 ringgit. The palm fat is huge. I don't think I can have anything else. Maybe I come back tomorrow because it's actually quite near to my hotel. I can uh, just come back and just eat again. Uh, this is another store that you can uh, order some fried food fried noodle and there is another store right over here I think I'll come back tomorrow for different item that is called the Kuyong um, oh it's, we call it chut chut and steamed lamb but uh, in Chinese it say uh, braised lamb that one looks interesting to me as well and the store looks interesting like they will just barbecue the stuff right over here can you see on my right side there's a store called smoky pokey the other day i went over i came over here for dinner then i found out this shop is not open but it has some review on google map so i think it should be interesting to try their food so let's go try some of the alcohol and some of the pork I can see there are two cocktails over here, Langkau Kalamansi, Homemade Langkau Takila. Two of the drinks are looking interesting to me. I'm going to give you a try. And on the left side, you also can see there's uh, the menu, that what they are selling, some of the vegetable, all this thing. Um, you need to uh, let the staff know that which one you like to try. Uh, you can just choose whatever you want and then they'll wait for the wing and then I'll let you know the price. It's quite affordable to me. I think the one of the beer is only 5 ringgit over here. And then uh, this is what I order, Langkau Kalamansi. There is a soft and a hard version. I'm not sure what's the difference. And I did not know there's two different types. But hopefully they will give me something good. <laughs> and then uh, all these are the non-alcohol drinks. There are food as well. So this is a uh, three-layer pork. Uh, this is what I'm having the pig stomach or the intensives. And medin arak, which is uh, one of the vegetable fried with uh, alcohol. I think I should order this one as well. Um, they also have the Torong Asam Tunis Pusuk Pedas. 
this is something very interesting. It's only in uh, Sabah, okay, Sarawak right over here. It is something sourish. It looks like a binjo and it looks like a tomato. I had one, I think it's very interesting. It just tastes like tomato but slightly sourish. Mm, I think uh, maybe you should order chicken wing if you are going to pair with your food. That is the Terong Asam Tumis Pusu Pedas. It looks exactly like tomato to me. The alcohol is kicking <laughs> by only one shot in a very short time. But don't worry, I will rest a little bit before I go back. So let's try the Terong Asam. It's just like tomato. <laughs> um, this one, they cook it in a very special way. Uh, I'm not sure what is to miss pusu pedas. It is not, uh, pedas means spicy, but it is not spicy at all. And let me try with more gravy. And it tastes a little bit like mangoes to me now. It's like the crossover with the mango, cucumber, and tomato. Very interesting uh, vegetable or fruit. Yep. I think you should come over here and try. Um, this is called Smoky Pocky. It's in a very beautiful um, place that with full of food. Uh, this is a kappa area. If you are going around this side, you can have a lot of nice food over here for sure. This place is intro by the local saying that this has a very special roja. Um, it won't be good as Penang roja, but it's unique. The roja here seems quite unique. There is a fried stuffed roja, which is like there's a fried yam, fried uh, shrimp cracker, sweet potato, and tofu. And it mixed with all this. So I'm going to order this one for 9 ringgit. And I also told that I have to try the jando. The jando is a white color jando. Yep, I am going to try this one and this uh, this one, 9 ringgit stuff. The business here is really good. I see a lot of people buying takeaway. And then this is my uh, jando ABC. Or is this white color? Um, by right, it's ice kacang, it should be colorful, but uh, it call it chendo jampo, which is uh, uh, something like ice kacang and then something like chendo, they mix everything together. Let me give it a try. Mm. Oh wow! Um, I think they put the coconut milk inside and uh, they mix with another types of creamy stuff. 
Okay, it's very tasty. I quite like it. Um, so it had a lot of jelly, grass jelly, red bean, jando, and then what else? Yeah, just these three tops, but it's just like quite refreshing. Mm. I think on the cold weather to have this is very amazing. It's very nice. This is my goreng jompo. It's here. It has uh, quite a lot of stuff, like I mentioned earlier, but um, they come with the chili sauce. Let me try the chili sauce first. Quite tasty. Uh, the chili sauce is something you can have it for like a chi chong fan or like the one in dim sum. And <laughs> let me try the fried stuff. This should be the prawn cracker. Mm. It tastes a little bit like uh, in Penang we call it Chang Hu or Pusumbo in Basa in uh, only Penang. It tastes similar, but um, the prawn cracker is very tasty, very flavorful. And um, they only deep fry it just now. I forgot to take video. I was like, like checking out a lot of things at the back. Not that at the back, they actually show a lot of the historical uh, photo about Miri. I'm going to try the tofu. Mm. The tofu is normal. Um, the roja sauce here is more on a uh, very liquid and very light taste. It is not fishy at all. So um, any Westerner, any Angmore or any Caucasian white, you are welcome to try this one. It is not fishy. Uh, it's just like a sweet sauce to me. And uh, let me see. A uh, sweet potato. Mm. It's very good. I'm very happy to have this. I'm very glad that um the my the local that tell me to try this one. Okay, I'm gonna dip with some of the chili sauce first with the fried yim or your koi taro. Mm. Wow. It is very well done. I like it very much. Maybe I'm going to try the rojak. This is a rojak, which is the one that uses a fish paste. And just now the goreng champo is used another kind of the gravy. My bad, I'm sorry. So now let me try the rojak. Um, the shrimp paste here looks extremely dark. Uh, in Penang, my hometown, our rojak paste is not this color. I'm going to try the tulip first. The, the the roja sauce here the the, the prawn paste here is um it's like no fishy smell at all yeah let me try another thing i don't like the roja <laughs> because I, I was expecting the very fishy types of the prawn paste but there is like quite okay, not fishy at all. So, Caucasian, white, Angmon, or, or Westerner, you are feel free to order both. It just looks uh, dark, but it's no, no, it's not fishy at all. Um, it's not on my liking, but I think it's a very good uh, beginning for you to try the roja. Then you can try the smelly, smelly roja that love from Penang. So the kaka is actually like deep frying the uh, cracker again. The business is really, really good. So if you're coming to Miri, I will recommend you to come over here and try. The business is actually really, really, really good. It's, uh, and it's quite interesting to see all the historical uh, photo while you're waiting for your food. I'm just go around the park and then I stop over here to the Cafe Hombio Miri. Uh, it smells very good. Because uh, when they cook the food, I can smell it earlier. So I ordered one drink. It's called Sour Plum Drink with Lime and Lemon. I'm going to give you a try. It's quite unique to me. Because uh, usually uh, no one put that much of the sour stuff, citrusy stuff together in one drink. Ooh. Mm. Very refreshing. Um, a little bit sourish, a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. Very refreshing. I'm going to have my lunch here as well. I ordered one of their popular items, 
which is nasi belau ayam served with vegetable. This is a nasi belau ayam served with vegetable. So usually they will give the cutlery like this, soaked in hot water, so which means that you can have a clean cutlery. The chicken deep fried very well with some spices. Ooh, very crispy. Ah, very hot. Oh wow, mm. very good, very flavorful, perfect with the rice. Um, and the vegetable looks like a cucumber to me. Mm. Very tasty as well. So if you are coming to the park, I cannot remember the name. Um, you can always stop over here for a drink and for a meal. This is a city bill grill just beside the petroleum museum. At the outside, it looks like it's not open, but I can smell something great fragrance. So I'm sure it is open. They had a very nice curry smell. And uh, over here, you can dine in with a beautiful view. With an open air sitting area like this. And it can overlook my hotel. So I'm going to choose to sit right over here to have my quick lunch. They opened the cafe specially for me. <laughs> but I only can order some uh, selected food. But if you're coming over here, you may try their grill, uh, mixed grill. Uh, they are popular on uh, Western food. But I'm going to have the fried noodle. It's called Mama Noodle. Fresh coconut for my lunch. Oh! I never tried such a sweet coconut water ever. Very good. It's a very small coconut. I'm gonna have more later. It's raining now, so I have got to shift inside a little bit so I won't get wet while having my lunch. It's very windy right over here, very comfortable place, very calm. Uh, they play some of the music, it's very nice too. Uh, without music, it would be perfect. <laughs> and I really like this view. It got a lot of fresh air. Let me try my uh, Mi Mama. Mmm, oh, it is nice. Mm. Close to Penang standard. <laughs> it just need more um, grounded peanut and some bean curd. It will be just like Penang style and more egg. Yeah. So I recommend you to come over here to dine as well. Perfect uh, place to catch up the sunset. If you come at the evening, it'll be perfect. The sunset is just directly in front of you. And then uh, the food here is really good. Mm. I order one more drink. Ice cream fruit cocktail. I'll share with you, it's nice. I had a very good lunch. Still waiting for my uh, ice cream cocktail. The view is like this. Isn't it very nice? And it's going to rain. <laughs> it stopped up a while and then I think it's going to rain again. Um, the dining area is quite spacious. So uh, tonight here will be res reserved for a private event. So I really think that uh, this is a place that you should come and try the Mi Mama. That's my favorite. Coconut and then maybe the cocktail ice cream. Cocktail ice cream looks like this. Uh, there are fruit inside and then uh, vanilla ice cream, shaved ice, and, um, watermelon, papaya. Yeah, I think it's good to end uh, a meal like this with uh, ice cream and uh, shaved ice. The weather a little bit hot right over here. This is my Nijawa special. Looks interesting. Uh, going to try the gravy first. Mm. Very strong. It tastes like a little bit like curry powder with ketchup. Sweet. And yet it's spicy. It's full of spices. It's not so that very not spicy. And I had the, the beef for the Nijawa. You can choose the chicken or the beef. Very, very rich in the flavor. Very strong. A little bit salty, but 
acceptable to me. There are some things good. Uh, we call it top box. And then a uh, hard boiled egg and some vegetable. Yeah, it's a very small dish, but I will say that uh, it's halal friendly. Yeah, I would say that. Okay, I have been passing by this restaurant a couple of times and the business is always very good. So I'm going to give it a try to find out what actually they are selling right over here. Sorry, I was uh, going to talk about the price and I've forgotten to try the beef. <laughs> okay, let me give it a try. <laughs> it had a lot of lemongrass in the soup and uh, turmeric and also some spices that I have no idea. The beef is not really that tender, but the more you chew, the more flavor you get. You can see the signage Chop Jin Lon. Uh, this is a place I can buy some uh, pastry, the local famous pastry that is recommended by the local to try to buy it back as a souvenir. Let's see what we can get inside. At the entrance, can smell very great of the buttery fragrance. And uh, this is something you can buy. Uh, usually this is used for the wedding ceremony but of course uh, if you crave for something traditional you can also come over here and buy and one of these pastries is only 80 cent ringgit and one of these famous item uh, kuih kacang hijau is only 65 cent and this is for wedding use <laughs> oh no this is the one is for wedding use it's uh, 550 I'm not sure what is inside, but I'm going to buy one of these and then I'm going to buy the yam and some... Hmm, let's see what else I can get. This one is very good, I like it very much. And oh, this is very cute. It's for a prayer. These are the four items I purchased for my afternoon snack. And you can see how inside the factory they are preparing their item. So come over here to buy some traditional pastry. And then I'm going to show you more other food you can eat in Miri. I'm going to show you the oldest bakery in Miri. That's what you can buy from this bakery. Over here they have a very very unique, uh, what they call, kuih lapis. Which is a, a layer cake. And they have the prune lapis which is something very unique. I never really see that in uh, uh, elsewhere. You can come over here to uh, try before you purchase. And then um, the Chinese New Year also have some goodies. I'm going to buy this back and then uh, some of the kueh lapis back. And the owner was saying that they are very proud of their prum kueh lapis and uh, but what else? Two, I cannot remember. Come over here and try. I'm going to purchase that for my friend. This is a prune layer cake I'm buying for my friend. I'm going to have one for myself as well. <laughs> 